watching the Bassmaster Classic, my first ever one. Ever since I could think or dream about being a professional fisherman, I'd wake up in the mornings, first thing I'd watch, a Bassmaster TV show or the Bassmaster Classic. The nerves are gonna be high, I mean, there's no doubt, especially the first day. It's honestly a dream come true to be here, to be at this point, at the age I'm at, just kind of the progression I went through just to get to this point right now. My girlfriend's coming into town, just to have somebody there and to have all the support. My dad's coming, which is huge. I, I hardly get to have him at any tournaments down here during the week and he was my biggest supporter you know growing up it's gonna be special to see them in the stands and I'm honestly just most anticipating coming through that tunnel for the first time and having them cheer for me in the stands at the way in there it hasn't really fully sunk in yet to be honest with you man it's gonna be it's gonna be surreal that's for sure so we're rigging up here for my first ever Bassmaster Classic. This, this is actually a week before the actual tournament, so I have a lot of time to think about this tournament, and I feel like they might possibly do that on purpose to us, especially for someone who's fishing it for the first time. My boat, the way I prepare it for, well, I guess the Classic this time, but honestly, all season in general, I keep everything real organized and neat, just so I know where it all is. I'm kind of a neat freak like that up until the tournament comes around, then it kind of starts to get more disorganized. But ahead of the tournament, I like to have 20 to 25 rods rigged up with different baits so I'm not wasting time on the water. Like for instance, if I have to pull out a red-eye shad and throw it at a gravel bar out here, which I know is popular, I can just grab the rod, throw it on a spot, I can move, do something else, and next thing you know, you know, I pick up my jig, I can do that. So there's no time putting on baits because we don't have all this time in the world to be retying and trying all these different baits like i want to have the stuff on and going so we're close to the spawn but we're not quite there yet and you know based on recent history and tournaments that have been here a flat-sided crankbait specifically the one from strike king this is the chick magnet i think this is the spring craw color i mean all around anything orange or anything in that yellow shade that's basically what i'm going to be focusing on here this week i mean it's a reaction bite the hybrid hunter did a lot of damage for me and i i feel like it's not just a grass bait it's a bait that you can throw that the fish just haven't really seen yet it has a unique action a unique diving depth a unique way that it basically hunts through the water you know the water is warming up right now so I wouldn't, I'm not afraid to throw something new that the fish haven't seen. Obviously, the Thunder Cricket is going to be a huge player in the Classic. The Tennessee River I do know is muddy. I have not ever been on it before. It's not super muddy, but I know it's stained. I'm going with a Chartreuse and White with a big old Rage Swimmer on the back, a 375. I've had a lot of success on this combo. Between these three baits right here, maybe the Red Eye Shad as well, I'm looking forward to getting out in the water and putting them to work. My goal this practice is just to find something that gives me an idea for the tournament. I don't wanna find what I think is the winning area. Obviously I do, but I don't at the same time because our tournament is a week later. So I just wanna get a clue and get comfortable. Like I wanna get comfortable throwing a thunder cricket around docks or gravel bars, whatever it is. I'm just ready to do my thing. And then once the tournament comes around, there'll be some early morning jitters that first day. For sure, there's no doubt. But once I'm settled in the first couple hours of the day, I'll, I'll get situated and hopefully we get to catch in a couple bass. Praxin for the Bassmaster Classic. Day number one of practice. I'll be honest, this is not fun. I don't know how much actual fishing I'm gonna do today. We'll probably do some, but my gosh. Just miserable, really. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Broke my trolling motor trying to get the boat in the water. Just a plastic piece on it and rubbed up against the dock already. <laughs> but here we are. Right now, I'm kind of just graphing around looking for, I'm just seeing like what water temps are, kind of what the water clarity is. I've never been here, so I want to see which way the current's going right now with this kind of wind. Not necessarily 
you know, here to catch every fish that lives in the lake right now. So I'm not really too worried about that, but I just want to see what the bottom looks like, especially for smallmouth. I want to see if it looks similar to some of the stuff we have back home. I mean, so far I'm seeing a decent amount of rock. We'll see if we can find anything, but if we don't, we'll probably go fish for some largemouth this afternoon. If you just start fishing right away, you have no reason, you know, there's just no, unless you know the area already, like, obviously I don't know this body of water, so it's a little different. For right now, we're doing the rock deal, but later on it'll just be like shallow docks, gravel bars that come out that are shallow. I don't really know a whole lot about this place, so as far as what I do know, it, there's really no grass out here or anything. I feel like if, if I find the smallmouth in this tournament, I'll probably do well. There are fish that you can kind of rely on. It sounds weird to say, but just coming from my perspective of it, I basically, we target them all year at home. So I just feel comfortable fishing for them. And even if they do move a little bit, I feel like I can refine them. And the weather we have setting up for this tournament, it's not supposed to be crazy warm. So I don't think they're gonna change too much throughout the week. It could be a bust or I could find something, but I at least wanted to try it for the first day. Last year was obviously exceptional. I had an outstanding year. Going into my sophomore season, there's like this thing that people say, there's like, they call it the sophomore slump. So we started off on Lake Okeechobee this year, the first tournament, and I had a good derby. But then we went right to Seminole the week after and ended up fishing 72nd. I kind of evened out my two finishes where I sit in points. I'm still inside the classic for 2024, which is my goal for my sophomore season, I guess you could say, is just to make a classic, stay up in the points, just stay consistent. I don't expect to do what I did last year. I mean, what I did last year was beyond what I thought I could do before even coming into the season. plan for day one of the classic. Take off down the river down here, maybe go about five miles or so. Start fishing, I'm gonna hit one area I found in practice. From there, we're gonna kind of see what the water temps are gonna be. Just see if anything's changed, see if fish are starting to move up, see if I can catch any small fish right off the bat. Um, obviously I wanna catch big fish, but small fish is, is a good thing too. It's not necessarily a bad thing if there's little ones around. I'm gonna be throwing moving baits all day, specifically a thunder cricket a lot. Everything else just is gonna be isolated target stuff. That's kind of my plan and what I'm rolling with. Hopefully come back with a good bag. Seeing all this craziness here at the Classic is, is pretty nuts. I mean, compared to an elite event, been a part of a couple of Classics as a fan, but now actually being here, it's gonna be pretty, pretty awesome. This is incredible. This is what I was dreaming about since I was 10. 
these suckers are something different than the ones that I found up at the St. Lawrence, but extremely happy with this weight and wow, this is this is pretty incredible. Pretty incredible. The best part is this is just day one. It's gonna be a lot bigger tomorrow. Let's hear it for them, ladies and gentlemen. Yesterday was pretty cool coming through the tunnel. Never got to experience that before and it was pretty wild seeing all those fans there and I'm excited to get out. Fish day two of the classic. I think I'm just gonna do the same thing I did yesterday. I don't really see why I would change anything up or do anything differently. Conditions today are miserable. We had a huge storm that just rolled through this morning and the rain's starting to stop a little bit but it's still pretty wet out. It's gonna be a tougher fishing day I think overall just for people to efficiently get around and fish just because of the wind and hopefully the weights aren't crazy good and we can make the cut with nothing substantial that we had yesterday. He's your reigning Elite Series Rookie of the Year. He's an Elite Series champion, holds the all-time record for the biggest winning weight of smallmouth bass, 102 pounds, 8 ounces, Jay Shakurat. find a lot of new areas really. I ran a lot of the same water and yeah I just I felt like I was somewhat running out of stuff to find in my area so I need to probably expand on what I'm doing tomorrow and maybe try and run it down the lake more. It just felt like I was fishing for like one fish every time and just never ran into like a four or five pound fish which is what you need here especially for what I'm doing it seems like they're either 14 inches or three to four pounders. Caught more 14 inches today than bigger ones. I had two big ones yesterday. Today I might have probably one that's like three pounds. Honestly, just happy to have five fish at the end of the day. We'll see where it puts us, but for the most part, happy with the day. The feelings of going through the tunnel when they open up the curtains is pretty wild. Cause it was just last year, two years ago, I was watching it thinking, you know, I could probably maybe do this in 10 years or if I'll ever get here, I really have no idea. And everything just happened so fast for me. So I'm just trying to soak it all in as it's happening and not take any of this for granted. Thank you. Thank you everybody. I feel like special things happen in this tournament. Anything's possible on day three. I want to stay in the top 10 is my goal today and then just catch another five fish. If someone asked me that two years ago, if I was fishing the classic sitting in the top 10, uh, I would have said, yeah, you're full of crap. Because two years ago, I wasn't even, I was just fishing local tournaments, working at home. I knew maybe there'd be a chance within you know a larger time frame of me fishing the classic or doing something like this i definitely feel like i'm proving myself more to the people that support me and i hope it continues for a long time and i hope that this is just the start i'll just do the same thing i've been doing all week just looking for bigger bites i ain't gonna try something crazy or do something weird just for no reason just because the way this place is fishing right now you can't just go off the wall and catch some giant bag. It's not, it ain't really fishing like that. goals for day three were catch a limit, stay in the top 10. We're gonna find out if we made the top 10 for day three, but catching a limit was huge today. I don't know what it was out there, what the deal was, but I thought calm, sunny, you know, just nice conditions. 
the fishing was going to be good and it was the complete opposite. The fishing was terrible. It showed by the leaderboard and the bass track today. It was pretty awful. Catching a limit was something I'm really proud of, especially doing it all three days of this tournament. And I caught all my fish the same way I was catching them all week on a jig. I can't really foresee anything that I would change or do differently from this entire tournament. Granted, I didn't have the biggest fish, but maintaining my top 10 position was the best that I could do in this tournament and I made it happen. I feel like everything I've worked for up to this point, which I say that because I feel like I haven't really maybe worked as hard as some of these other guys have to get to this point because I've come to the Classic at, on such short terms. I mean, one year in the Elite Series and only one year really fishing professionally. I'm just very fortunate to be in the position I'm in and so thankful and the best part is coming up here shortly when they open up the curtains and I get to see my whole family and talk on the stage for a little bit and thank everybody and just talk about the week, how I had and yeah, it's, it's gonna be cool and I'm gonna try and soak it in for the couple minutes I have out there. Thank you for telling me.